Hello, my name is Lewis Howard Latimer, and my story is seldom told. I was the youngest son of Rebecca and George Latimer, former slaves who bought their freedom with the help of a black minister and the community. I was born in 1848 outside of Boston and attended only grade school. The remainder of my education was self-taught. I had an insatiable appetite for reading, drawing, and learning in general. At 15, I joined the Union Navy during the Civil War, and after a short stint in an honorable discharge, I returned to Boston, where I worked at the Crosby and Gold Patent Law Office and taught myself mechanical drawing and drafting. I became the head draftsman at the age of 20 and married my beloved Mary by the age of 25. In 1880, Hiram S. Maxim, chief engineer and electrician for the U.S. Electric Lighting Company, was very impressed with my talents and hired me. I took this opportunity to learn about the electric industry. During my tenure with Maxim, I invented an electric lamp with a carbon filament in 1881. A few years later, I began my association with Thomas Edison, serving as chief draftsman and expert witness on the Board of Patent Control. In 1886, I invented an apparatus for cooling and disinfecting. It was the forerunner to the AC unit and primarily used in hospitals. Four years later, I wrote my first book, Incandescent Electric Lighting, a practical description of the Edison system. I was the only black man to join the Edison Pioneers in 1918, an elite group of 28 innovators and visionary men who worked for Edison transforming the electrical industry. I retired at 75 and kept busy enjoying the arts and painting and music and consider myself as a bit of a renaissance man. Today, I look at the world and see that all culture that thrives needs the nourishment provided by risk-taking heroes. Without openly recognizing and celebrating these heroes, the culture would be devoid of its critical inspiration layer that educates the next generation of aspiring citizens about what is possible and encourages bold thinking at a systems level. The widespread omission of African-American innovator contributions to the advancement of society has had a particularly deep and misunderstood impact on future generations. I'm so very honored that the Edison Awards is channeling my spirit and recognizing me as Edison's principal collaborator. It's finally time to fully celebrate and acknowledge black modern day hero innovators that remain largely hidden Our inaugural group of visionaries have been identified as a cohort that both I, Louis Latimer, and my dear friend, Thomas Edison, would certainly welcome into our inner sanctums.